Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mastering Security Roles and Privileges in Power Apps webinar. I am excited to guide you through today's session, where we will explore the essential aspects of security within Power Apps. As we navigate the ever-evolving landscape of digital transformation, ensuring the security of our applications and data is more crucial than ever. Whether you're a developer, IT professional, or business user, understanding how to effectively manage security in Power Apps is key to protecting your organization's data and maintaining trust. Today, we will dive deep into the layers of security and how you can harness these tools to safeguard your apps. Here at Advicecon, we help organizations achieve greater impact by leveraging work management technologies to accomplish more with less. As work management consultants and technology specialists, our focus is on streamlining processes, improving systems, and achieving better outcomes. Before we get started, Let's take a look at our agenda for today. We will begin by learning about the different layers of security in Power Apps, including app level, form level, record level, and field level security. We will explore how these layers interact to protect both your app and its data. Next, we will gain insights into managing security roles and privileges within Power Apps. We will discuss how these settings influence access to apps and data and how you can leverage them to enhance security. We will then move on to designing a comprehensive security strategy tailored to your app's needs. We will walk through five essential steps to ensure that the right users have access to appropriate data. Finally, we will conclude with a practical demo showing how security concepts are applied in real-world situations to ensure that sensitive data is accessible only to authorized users. By the end of this webinar, you will have a solid understanding of how to implement and manage security in Power Apps, empowering you to build secure applications with confidence. So let's get started. Before we dive into the world of Power Apps, let me share a bit about myself. I'm Shams, a Power Platform developer at Advicecon. I'm passionate about Power Apps and incredible ways they can transform business processes. As a CRM and Power Platform consultant, my journey has been all about designing and implementing customized solutions using the Power Platform, which includes Power Apps, Power BI, and Power Automate. I'm here to guide you through mastering security roles and privileges in Power Apps, exploring its potential for maximizing your app security and data integrity. So let's dive in. Understand security layers. When configuring security in your app, you can establish protection at four distinct levels. The first level is the app level security. App level security controls access to the app itself. It does not manage the security of the data storage. The security of your data will depend on the features of your data sources. Ensure that users who have access to the app also have the necessary permissions for the underlying data. For model-driven apps, form-level security enables you to restrict access to specific forms based on security groups. This is particularly useful for controlling how users interact with data based on their roles. For instance, in an approval process app, you might have one form for employees to submit requests and another form for approvers to review them. Form level security is ideal for such scenarios. Record level security allows you to control access to individual records within your app. Think of it like applying security settings to specific rows in an Excel sheet. This type of security includes eight access types that define what actions users can perform on these records. Let's explore these access types in detail. So for create, required to make a new record. Read is required to open a record to view the contents. Write required to make changes to a record. Delete required to permanently remove a record. Append is required to associate the current record with another record. For example, if users have append rights on a note, they can attach the note an opportunity in the case of many-to-many -many relationships. A user must have append privilege for both tables being associated or disassociated. 
append to is required to associate a record with the current record. For example, if users have append to rights on an opportunity, they can add a note to the opportunity. Assign is required to give ownership of a record to another user. Share is required to give access to a record to another user while keeping your own access. Now, the colored circles on the security role settings page identify the access level assigned to each privilege. Access levels determine how deep in the business unit hierarchy the user can perform the privilege. So the following table describes the levels of access. So here is a summary of each access level. So when we talk about global or global access, we also call it organization. It provides user with access to all records across the entire organization, regardless of business unit hierarchy. For the security note, it should be limited according to the organization data security plan. Now for deep access or child business units, it grants users access to records within their business unit and all subordinate business units. It includes local and basic access. It's also reserved for managers with authority over multiple business units. Now for local access or business unit, it allows users to access records within their specific business unit. It includes also basic access, and it's reserved for managers within a specific business unit. For basic access or user, users can access records they own. Records shared with the organization, records shared with them, and records shared with the team they belong to. It's commonly assigned to sales and service representatives. It provides fundamental access required for daily tasks. None access or no access is permitted. Applied when no access is needed or appropriate for a user. Field level security. Field level security provides granular control within a single record. Similar to managing permissions for individual columns in an Excel sheet, this security level mirrors the types of access found in record level security, but applies them to specific fields within a record. Implement security rules and privileges. Example, securing an expense report solution. In an expense approval scenario, all employees must be able to submit their expense reports, requiring them to have access to the app used for creating these reports. Similarly, approvers need access to a separate app for managing approvals. We will create a null employee security group that has access to the expense reporting app and its associated data. Additionally, an approver security group will be set up to access the approvals app. The accounting department might require access to more sensitive data, such as employees' bank details for processing and reimbursements. Therefore, we will establish an accounting team security group, which will be the only group with access to employee banking information. To maintain privacy, employees should not be able to view each other's expense reports. This requires implementing record level security so that employees can only access their records. However, approvers must have the ability to view the reports submitted for approval. Furthermore, the audit team should be able to access all expense reports for review purposes without the ability to modify them. Thus, an auditor's security group is needed. Both the auditors and approvers groups should have access to all records, while the all employees group should be restricted to accessing only records I create. How different levels of security relate to each other? The various security levels function like layers, and your app design should integrate these levels to meet your specific needs. The following illustrates how each security level can be applied in an expense approval scenario. So for app level security, access to the expense report submission app. So 
The app level security, it ensures employees can access the app to submit their expense reports. Form level security controls which forms are visible to employees and approvers. Record level security restricts access to only the relevant expense reports based on user roles. And finally, Field level security safeguards sensitive information such as bank details, limiting access to only those who need it for processing reimbursements. Design a security model. Navigating through different security levels can be intricate, but breaking it down into these five steps can simplify the process. Step one, define users access. Identify the users or groups, such as department, teams, or sections, who will need access to the app. Ensure these users align with those identified during the planning phase. Step 2. Classify access levels. Categorize these users into groups based on their access needs for different types of information. Determine who will have access to restricted data and who will not. Step 3. Determine record access requirements, establish the criteria for who should be able to view or interact with specific records within the app. Step four, manage external access. If your app integrates with data sources outside of Dataverse or services that do not use Office 365 or Microsoft Entra for authentication, plan how to manage access to these systems. Consult with administrators of these external systems if necessary. Step five, implement security groups. Based on the previous steps, decide on how to organize and manage these different user groups. Using security groups is a recommended approach for streamlined management. Apply security in real world scenarios. In this demo, We'll cover how to share a model-driven app by associating security roles with the app, assigning these security roles to users. So as you can see here, I have a time of request solution where I have two different applications, model-driven app and Canvas app. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can share your model-driven app. So the first step is to select your model driven app from the list and then you click on more commands which is the three dots here and then you click on share so once you're in the sharing interface you will need to associate one or more security roles with the app so you start by selecting your app and then you can see here manage security roles dataverse you click on the drop down and you will see options to choose from existing security roles or you can create your own from clicking here, manage security roles. So the first thing here is custom roles that are created in your environment. And there is the standard roles like delegate, um, basic user, system customizer, and knowledge manager. You can remove and add something else if you want it to. Let's click all of them and share. Now, if you want to assign security roles to users, you have to click on here and enter a name, or you can just go through the list and choose someone that you're going to share the app with. So if I click here, as you can see, this person has all standard roles. I can add him to this custom role, or I can also remove some stuff. Let's add this one and then share. Okay, now it is shared with him and he's going to receive an email saying that a new role was added to him. Now, if you need custom security roles, you can create them by choosing to manage security roles here in the drop down. So if you need custom security roles, you can select here new for create a new role. Here you can provide the role name, such as project manager, and then you can define the privileges for this role. So the role that I want for my time of request app is for approver. 
and then you click on custom entities and now you can provide or you can define the privileges for the role like create, read, write, delete, append, append to, assign and share. So I'm going to look for um, request. There you go here, approval request. And I'm going to give it full control on create, read, and write. Once you're done, you're just going to save and close. All right. Something that you have to be aware of is that when granting certain privileges like read and create, it may provide users with access to all apps in the environment, not just the one you're sharing. So once you're done with this, you can just refresh your app and you can find here the role that we added. There is projects manager. Let's look for approver. Okay, let's refresh. You click on your app and you add your new role. There you go, approver. And then you click share. And then you look for someone here. Say, Lori. Or Crystal. I'll give her approval role. And then I click share. Now she received her email that it was shared and that she has a new role. In today's webinar, we explored the various security levels in Power Apps, including app level, form level, record level, and field level security. We walked through the five key steps for designing effective security from identifying user groups and assigning roles to defining record access and managing security groups. During the demo, we demonstrated how to share a model-driven app by assigning and managing security roles. By understanding and implementing these security measures, you can ensure that your apps are secure and tailored to your organization's needs. Thank you for watching this webinar. Please feel free to reach out with any questions, like or follow us on our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We offer many free trainings in our online academy. You can access those by visiting advicecon.thinkfic.com. For project managers, simply become a member of Advicecon Academy to receive the code to redeem PDUs. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.